Well, today we're going to be doing some more of the uh, Warlord Games Top 2 figures. Uh, I've bought a few sets. My local gaming shop was selling them off a reduced rate, so this was £13 down to 5 And this is Time Lords. Um, it, they're advertised as like generic Time Lords, but they're actually from one of the uh, shows. I forget which one. I'm sure someone will tell me which one it's from. But you get three Time Lords. Baldy Fella, Hatty Fella, Security Girl. Um, bit about the Time Lords. Uh, you also get a set of cards, which I suppose if nothing else are a nice painting guys. Let's see what we got. We've got Baldy Fella, Razzle on the Redeemer. Just use a lot of coupons, I imagine. Uh, Time Lord General. Nice armor. I like the armor. Uh, Generic beardy time lord. He's got two wounds. Look, I wonder where they are. He looks wounded. Now, uh, what else we got? Regeneration energy. A temporal loop initiator. Ooh. And Gauntlet Razzlon with James Bond there. Don't know where. He had the infinity glove before everyone else, I suppose, didn't he? Anyway, let's uh, just look at the figures. They come in the usual nice blue box. Ronnie S. Thank you, Ronnie S. You're doing sterling work. Um, so you get three figures. I've undercoated these in just a Poundland acrylic primer. So the first thing to do is little bits of flash all over them. So we're just going to give them a trim, a tidy up. Um, I like these games figure, uh, Warlord Games figures. They uh, don't take a lot of cleaning up, they're usually pretty clean. Not a lot of uh, flash. It's a lovely detail, I hope that comes out. Okay, I've got a few ideas on doing it. It's a sharp bit cloak there. Okay, and then this is Razalon's hand, which is on a, actually on the hand, so that's going to be difficult to get off. So, first things first, we're going to paint the flesh tones. So, we've got uh, two white and a coloured lady. So, for the uh, white dudes, my standard Cajun flesh tones, and that's watered down with some Vallejo light flesh. And we're just going to paint all the fleshy bits. going to use Mornfang Brown as the base flesh tone on the Commander Woman. And there we go, so we let that dry. Probably another couple of coats, then we can come back and start detailing. Okay, so the flesh is dry, so I'm just going to use some Vicolin Flesh Shade and just run that into the flesh areas. Actually, what I'm going to do also as well is undercoat the uniform. So I'm just going to use some Mephiston red. Um, I think it's quite a nice red, so I'll do that off camera as well. Okay, so I've undercoated in red and let that dry. So now I'm just going to dry brush some lighter flesh onto the faces, just to bring out some detail. Got a little bit of red on her face, which I'm now gonna cover up. There we go. Now I'm gonna paint the eyes, so just some white. Put 
tiny nose eyes up a little bit. And I'm also going to, the parts that are going to be gold, I'm going to uh, undercoat in black because black is a good basis for the gold. So I'll do that and we'll come back. Okay, so I've painted all the parts black that I eventually want to be gold. You can see, so now I'm just going to paint the eyeballs. And then I'm going to paint Razalon's little bit of hair he's got in grey. I'm just going to use Dawnstone grey. I'll find it. There it is, Dawnstone. And then he's got a beard. Right, so now I'm going to do some of the gold. I'm going to dry brush uh, my gold colour and I'm going to use Balthazar gold. So I'm going to give it a good old stir. coming along. I'm going to carry on doing a few layers on that and then we can come back and see what it looked like. Okay so the gold came out quite nicely. It looks quite antiqued. Vaseline's came out really nicely at headdress. So what I'm going to do now is use a brown wash to just highlight some details in the, the uh, robes. I'm just going to try dark tone. This is Army Painter. No, we used this before, so this may be a horrible, horrible mistake. It does look quite dark. So I'm going to try a bit of dark tone, see if that works. And next to it, a bit of flesh wash, see if that works. And this should be interesting. So this is the dark tone. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going to carry on with that and we'll come back. Okay, the flesh wash, oh, dark shade that I put on is pretty much dry. So now I'm going to do some light dry brushing just in white just to blend it a bit. So I'm going to stick the arm onto Razalon, pop them on some bases, and we'll come back and have a look at them finished. I didn't stick them on the bases in the end because I haven't stuck any of my other figures on the bases, um, so I didn't want them to look different. But yeah, it's quite a nice set, this. So we've got Razalon with his mechanical point in finger. You've got generic Time Lord. In a bit full of himself and then you've got time lord commander like a security guard yeah so again really nice set from warlord games um thanks for watching uh, if you want to see more of these warlord videos please like and subscribe let me know if there's any sets you want me to cover and i'll certainly try and do them i've got most of the sets here in my uh, pile of kits to build but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.